Tennessee's former governor, Bill Haslam, stepping back into the public eye, highlighting a new tutoring program that we've told you about that he's put into place during the pandemic. While addressing the public, Haslam also confronting one of the state's most controversial issues. He did not shy away from the debate over a Capitol Hill Confederate symbol. State Capitol reporter Chris Bungard speaking with the former Republican governor today. The former governor and first lady chose the Boys and Girls Club of Middle Tennessee here in Franklin to see their million dollar donation in action. Bill and Chrissy Haslam thank the tutors helping youngsters who miss school because of COVID-19. I know that they'll be growing over the summer and I know that they'll be returning to school hopefully um, this fall better prepared. So it's it's very exciting. You know, the whole idea kind of came together sort of at the last minute, like we have all yeah. these college students who plans have been changed for the summer. So with the help of Boys and Girls Clubs, the Haslam's Foundation gave a $1,000 stipend to around a 1,000 college kids to tutor the younger ones. There will be tests to see if this helps. We can actually measure how much students have learned and, and see what kind of impact it's had. The former governor's event comes two days before the Tennessee Capitol Commission debates what happens to the Capitol building's bust of Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest Haslam as governor pushed to remove it, but the commission said no three years ago. His feelings about the bust have not changed. I think it does uh, elicit a lot of strong feelings, you know, uh, understandably from people. And I think it'd be more, much more appropriate to move out of the Capitol into the State Museum or some other place. But on this day, it was not about Confederate symbols. It was about kids learning in the age of COVID. <laughs> the former governor and first lady said they would be making more visits like this one in the future. Reporting from Franklin, Chris Bungard. The state's Capitol Commission meets Thursday at 9 in the morning. The only item on the agenda is the Confederate General's Capitol building bust. We'll let you know what happens.